Hey there, Angel of Galaxy, back with some more channeled messages. I do hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to say a very, 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 very big thank you to all who are subscribing. Honestly, I woke up, I wake up each morning and there's an extra subscriber. Uh, I've done really well this week, so blessings sent back to you guys tenfold and all who have subscribed in the past. Thank you for my community who keeps coming back. It's very steady. It's a slow burn, but you know, I'm hoping to build this community to help others. And then in the comments section, you can put and help each other um, with your struggles, you know. Um, and I think that's sometimes when people are lonely, that really will make a difference. All right. So how can you support this little budding channel? It would be to like, subscribe. It's free to subscribe, share, comment. Hit that notification button so you know when I've got content out. Um, yeah, and all these things just help lift the algorithms, which means that that can be seen by more people. And that's it's very difficult to push your channel, especially at the beginning. All right, so if you could help me with that, I would be blessed. Anyway, remember spirit works for us in mystical and mysterious ways. These messages may not go directly to the intended person. They may be talking about someone you know. Could be their love lost one or a situation around you or them. Just remember you may just be chosen by heaven to, you know, send these messages to somebody else. Okay. You know, when someone's just had somebody cross over, this might be the last thing they'd be thinking about going on a channel like this. Um, some people don't even use social media, so it'd be your way of letting them know. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just remember we have both aspects of the divine feminine and masculine, so please take that as it resonates. All right, remember that the rule of souls piggybacking on one particular message. The message really means something to you, feel it in your gut. Um, but the names or the dates may not seem relevant, then it still could be your message, so don't, don't dismiss it. That'll be your, your loved one on the other side jumping the queue, so to speak. All right, let's go. Now, let's hope I don't run out of time, <laughs> like I always do. All right, all right. So this morning, hmm, I had this vision of a fox. Hmm. It was trying to get into my house, and I was with a friend of mine in this vision. Hmm. But I shooed it away because I have a little dog as well, you know. In the next minute I noticed it had, it was tangled up in some wire or fencing, which was unusual. Not literally, you know. Um, so, for someone who's watching, I don't feel like this is talking about a sneaky, predatory hunting behaviour, but more about your powerful spiritual energy. So you may be getting downloads or about to, and these will, of course, give you deep insight into your own spiritual gifts. I think the fox getting tangled up may speak of you needing to not fall into a trap of not protecting your own energetic space. So trust your inner voice. As the fox is linked to claircognizance, which is clear knowing. The most standout feature of a fox is its bright fur coat and bushy tail. The fur is its most important protective tool, so that makes, makes sense. It offers camouflage as well as giving comfort when it is cold and rainy. You know, when you think about it, it represents our own layer of protection, which is our own energetic field. Foxes can show up in your life to let you know what is happening in your own energetic space. They offer protection in the auric field by letting you know where your energy ends and where other people's energy begins. If you are highly empathic, you may have asked for guidance on how to manage these abilities. So it's, it's useful to meditate on the energy of a fox because it can reveal who is in your space and how to protect yourself. Lovely. Mm. We 
love this message I'm getting. Howard, Set, Graham, David, Bohan, Sylvia, Heather, Markle, Henry, Sheldon, so they sound a bit like last names, some of them, Benny, Victoria, Zila, Francis, Goody, Metcalf, Applegate, and Amy. Alright, take the names as they resonate and leave the rest for someone else to enjoy. Could be people in your environment, people watching, people on the other side. You know, your family members. Mm. Alright, so I'm hearing when love comes knocking at your door. You are not meant to slam it in somebody's face. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't deserve that. Get real. Just because you've been hurt a few times doesn't mean they are all the same. Oh, someone's getting told up. So what I'm feeling like with this message is like this person does have good intentions. And in this soul's opinion, a good catch as well. Don't overlook someone who can bring you joy and happiness. You know, happiness into your life because of Past events, mm, I understand. Yeah, so I'm being told that the last few times you have let your guard down, things have got pretty ugly. But you can't live your life like that. <laughs> so it's so sad. Never been one to mince my words, and you know that I just want to see you move on and enjoy someone else. <laughs> Let us all on this side see you excited to be alive again. Those wonderful feelings that overtake you in the first few weeks of dating. Get excited and call her back. Don't be a plonker boy. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm hearing David, Barry, Jamie, Diana, Jilly, Larry, Tom. Mm. Alright. Clarence, I'm hearing that strange. Clarence. Mm. Alright, thank you for that. Okay. So, next. Okay. So, Dickie wants to remind Esmeralda that time is precious and so are you. I mean, it hurt, irks him, his words, to see you wasting your time when you could be enjoying life more. A reference to you sitting watching TV. You know, it has its place, but it is meeting others, socialising and getting yourself on a train even to go and visit the kids and grandchildren. That will give you joy. Mm. He's talking about some rainy day money, so I don't know whether you, you would have called that or you would have called it there. So use it. Mm. It's pointing out a class which you'd enjoy, so get the local paper out. As it will be in that, it will be listed there. I promise you it'll be good for you. Right. So who's sending this message? Alright, so Dickie, he's telling me he was a man of honour and would see you through thick and thin. Like to be noticed, wasn't shy. He may have had a management role and August really comes to mind with this. So if it's a birth date, passing anniversary, um, a birthday or just the time in August, you know. He would have left the earth plane, I'm told, in the autumn months. But it would be nearing the end of that season. Mm, that month, I should say. Mm. Oh, sorry. Oh, he, nearing the end of the season. Sorry, my fault. My bad. He's telling me he had three children, or has three children, all grown up. Two girls and one boy. Hmm. He's showing me a dart, so I don't know what that means. 
Might have liked the game, maybe. He loved comedies, but wouldn't be too keen on drama or sci-fi. Or anything too soppy. <laughs> and he's wishing you all the very best. Mm. He told me, he's telling me now that he isn't the kissy kissy type, but he's sending one anyway. Thank you. Just a quick one. Mm. So I'm here in China. He's working through some tough lessons at the moment. And Geraldine is watching you do so. Okay. She's pointing out that it'd be more apparent how to go about this. As you spend time unravelling the issues and then seeking the solution. So the clue to freeing yourself up will be with someone around you. So keep your eyes peeled. Short and sweet, thank you. All right. Mm. Okay. All right, so for all of you who don't know, I get signs and synchronicities and also songs. And me and Spirit like to have a bit of a, you know, a bit of fun as we do it. Um, it's nice to lighten up the mood. So this is a Hurt, a song called Hurt. So the song may mean something to you. It may be a line in the song, the chorus, or just the message or the names. Um, but anyway, go and listen to the song because there may be something in there for all of you. All right? You may not, but you never know. All right, so this loved one wants me to use this song to send a message to whoever needs to hear it. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. I focus on the pain, the only thing that's real. The needle tears a hole, the old familiar sting. Try to kill it all away, but I remember everything. So I feel this is a loved one who is despondent, dependent, sorry, despondent. That's interesting, why did I say that? Okay. Dependent on narcotics. Just couldn't cope with life and all that comes from being in human form. I feel a tumultuous childhood and a father who was also addicted to alcohol and drugs. I'm also picking up on violence, trigger warning. Mm, sorry about that. So the song, what have I become, my sweetest friend? Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have it all, my empire of dirt. I will let you down. I will make you hurt. For the recognition of the damage, the pain he caused you. I don't know, I'm just feeling this really gut-wrenching, churning emotion with this message. Which of course is understandable from the lyrics. Mm. He wants you to know there's, there was nothing you could have done differently. He says he was gone on a downward spiral. Downward, sorry. And no amount of talking would have saved him. So deeply sorry. As you were someone who he could trust and rely on. And he continually pushed you away with his antics and his addictions. Taking drugs was something he found very hard to stop, even though total abuse ensued. And as the song says, he wore this crown of thorns upon his head. Liar's chair full of broken thoughts I cannot repair. Beneath the stains of time, the feelings despair. He was someone else, and you were right. You were still right there. Even though he didn't deserve the understanding, love, time and compassion, along with all the others' help. All the other help, sorry, you offered as a friend. This was continuous, over and over again. In hindsight, if I... Mm -hmm. Sorry. 
In hindsight, if he could have ignored the torturous memories of days gone by, gosh, this is a horrible feeling. Being strong enough to make it work and believing in the possibility of freeing himself, even if this prospect seemed a million miles away in his head. He should have made the choice to keep himself. He wished he'd found a way to make you proud, but alas, it was not meant to be. There is not a day since my passing that I have not checked on you, dear friend. I love the way you still talk to me like we used to before I slipped into deep depression and misery. I love the way you remember every little detail, most of our chats and your capacity to remember dates and time still amazes me. So I feel this young man would have had, well he'd been in his early thirties when he crossed, mid, mid to early, I don't know. Mm. Loved music that was loud and fast, so maybe metal, you know. Um, Mm. He had tattoos on his arms and I'm told on his leg. He would have had a scruffy type of hair, looked unkept really. And he would have had a very unusual tone to his voice. And his walk was very quick and may have swung his hands a lot as he walked. I would say quite bright. He would have talked about quite a few topics, so it was never boring. I mean, Liam, Victor, Sharon, Kay, Haley, Drew, Vinny, and Seth. Those names come up a lot, actually. Hmm. Okay, thank you for that. All right. Okay. So, our angel number today is 99. The spirit world has an urgent message for you. Get to work on your divine life purpose now. Ask the spirit world to help you with motivation, clarity, direction and anything else you need. And the healing words from them is remember to bring a sense of sacred into your romantic love relationship and to seek for safety and shelter today in the only place that it can be found within source or God within. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about emptiness. So if your heart feels empty, like no one or nothing else can take the, pay, pl the place of a loved one, then you have two choices. Live with the emptiness, or take action steps to fill the void in new ways. Hopefully you will choose the second option because you have many years left and you may as well enjoy your time. Misery does not honour your loved one, but happiness does. So start accepting invitations to parties, social clubs and activities, even if you have to make yourself join in. Your heart will soon be filled with new forms of love. That's so important, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Okay, so the poem today, just a quick one before my next message is Grief, I've learned, is really just love. It is all the love you want to give, but cannot. All of that unspent love gathers in the corners of your eyes, the lump in your throat and the hollow part of your chest. Grief is just love with no place to go. Okay, so my next message, please. So I'm hearing a running through the corridors. So this could be a memory. Mm. Uh, a feeling of staying later than you should. I see torch lights in the dark. Mm. Oh gosh, I see somebody slipping through the window that had been left open. 
Oh, <laughs> okay, I get it now. Using the school toilets and making yourself drinks and eating the biscuits. Oh, naughty. So this is a memory for someone watching. Or you may even know someone when they were a child who had experienced this. And I'm getting the name William. And he would have dared. He just loved a dare and did many naughty things. As it was an exciting time for him. <laughs> He's telling me, unfortunately he didn't grow out of this. And as he got older was pushed for breaking the law more than once or twice. Oops. He wants to reach out to somebody called Tony, who was also a naughty boy, but he had the sense to grow up and become more responsible. He <laughs> said, Tony, it's Will. I know the years have passed, but I have come to see you now and then. I even made one of my photographs fall to the floor right next to your feet. I can see somebody pulling out some old photographs, you know, um, to store them somewhere else. And they were in a, they're in a box and as you're pulling them out from a higher, from the higher bit of the wardrobe, they drop to the floor and that, there was his photograph with you. Mm. Okay. Long time back though, I'm hearing. Oh, he's telling me he's watched you marry your lovely Tanya and was there at the birth of your two kids. Mm. Also, he was there when you had that really bad leak in your home that damaged so much. He wasn't responsible though, he's saying. <laughs> Anyway, just wanted to reach you and let you know that he's okay and doing well on the other side. He wants you to know that he's with Mark and Johnny, who arrived there not long ago. Anyhow, mate, until we meet again. Mm. Something about greeting you with a headlock, so you may have done that. He says he won't do that, though, <laughs> on the other side. That's a memory you can't forget. Right, lovely, thank you. Okay. I'm happy to be here. My life here is so much better than it was on the earth plane. The lessons the what, what I had chosen were definitely not an easy path to complete. It wasn't how I imagined it to be. There's a lot of pain, a lot of tears. I couldn't complete my mission here, it was too difficult and I'm sorry for that, I hope you can all forgive me. There was nothing for you all to feel bad about, but I am proud of you for carrying on and making our home still feel Homely and mm, mm, yeah, I know. Feel it felt like a huge loss, and but you've come to the end of the cycle now. Mm, and what you've been involved with lately, it's over. Time to move on. You have done what you needed to do. 
challenge yourself and reach an even higher, even higher level because you've passed many of your tests through this. You may feel that this transition, this time here is uncomfortable. You may feel discomfort and anxiety, but that's when you really know you're about to enter this new cycle properly. Mm. There's a decision that must be made. Mm. And I'm going to be guiding you in that. So be aware of your dreams, your meditation. Because that's where I'm going to be coming through. Mm. There's renewal, hope and happiness on the way. Mm. I know that secrets came out after my passing. But I promise all is going to be fine. You will be stable. Mm. There's a unity and a wholeness and you've protected each and every one of the children and I am grateful for that. Mm. Know that I am more than happy. Mm. There is abundance coming for you. Just start to believe, keep going. And that freedom and mm, the instability and curiosity, curiosity wants you to use that, okay? Mm. January I'm feeling as well. He may have passed in January. Okay. It's still forming an alliance with you. Although not how it used to be when he was incarnate. Um, hmm. Okay. There is some type of seed that has been planted um, and I'm feeling something's about to sprout. But you're not sure how to do that yet. It can indicate you may need to stay alone just for mm, a little longer. But don't forget to nurture this project that you're about to start. I don't know whether you know you are, but there is a project coming. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm hearing one who has been away will return soon. I don't know if it's part of this, but um, mm. it's a really good time for new undertakings, whoever I'm talking to. Family stability is coming in for sure, um, and a bit more guidance in your life as you open up and allow him to come through. I feel whoever I'm talking to that you have the gift of clairvoyance. Um, so use it. Mm. You are protected. And there's much growth coming in. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna end up there. I think my son's on the way. <laughs> Right, okay. Mm. All right, just like to, to end by thanking each and every one of you for watching my channel 
I'm grateful and humbled to have a platform of spirit and I can cook 